Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today I'm going to be answering the most asked question by far that I have gotten on stream. Which, by the way, in case you guys didn't know, I am streaming almost every single day on YouTube whenever or whenever I can, since I do have a full-time job now. But yeah, if you guys ever want to ask me anything or just come hang out, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that way you get notified of when I upload and when I go live. But anyway, one of the questions that I get asked a lot is, what is the best weapon for child or tartalia or tortellini whatever is it rust is it stringless is it the skyward harp well i have been doing a lot of testing and i wanted to share my results with you guys and hopefully answer this question for you now the boss that i did the tests on was the electro cube since he has a teleport waypoint right next to him so it's really easy to just you know, fast travel in the middle of combat to reset the fight, swap weapons, etc, etc. I use the same team for all the tests, and I use the same artifacts for all of the tests. Uh, I use this Noblesse Feather and Flower, I use this Gladiator Timepiece, this Hydro Damage Bonus Goblet, and this Gladiator Helmet. This is what my stats look like, but of course keep in mind that when I use the Harp, my crit damage is going to go up by 20%, and my crit rate as well. So the first test is a level 1 non-refined Stringless, and with this I got 454 damage for a normal attack, and 993 damage for a crit. As for the passive, it doesn't increase the damage of your actual melee stance, only the little AoE when you transform, and your ultimate, of course. The next test was a level 1 non-refined Rust, which actually has the same base attack as the Stringless. With this, I got 579 for a normal attack and 1266 damage on a crit. So you can see that even when taken into account that the attack percentage substat on the Rust is increasing our total attack, the auto attack actually deals 27.5% more damage, not 40%. And this is because of the way the damage is calculated under the hood and everything, but still, it's a pretty decent increase. So what about the harp? Well, a level 1 non-refined harp dealt 458 damage for a normal attack and 1094 damage for a crit. Now keep in mind that the harp has a higher base attack and it gives 20% more crit damage, but even still, the rust ends up doing more damage on both normal attacks and crits. So now that we did kind of like a baseline test, what happens if we have a max refinement on the Skyward Harp? Would it actually be able to beat out the Rust in that scenario? So if you have a Refinement 5 Rust, that would put the crit damage in our build at 158.6%. Now, a crit in this same test would deal 1186 damage which is still lower than the Rust crit at Refinement 0. Now, my math might be off by a couple of digits. I mean, I'm going to warn you guys, I did fail per calculus twice in college. But still, it is 7% less damage only on crits. On normal attacks, the gap hasn't been closed at all because Refinement doesn't increase base attack. Now, keep in mind that the Harp does have that little physical damage AoE aspect to the passive. At Refinement 0, this deals 60% of your attack as physical damage in an AoE, and this can crit and proc every every four seconds. So I did a DPS test. And for this test, we're just going to do a full combo, and I'm going to take into account one proc of the physical damage AoE. So if we factor in one proc for a full combo, like I said, we would get about 3,834 damage, plus the 769 damage from the AoE, for a total of 4,603 damage. On the Rust, however, we get a total of 4,844 damage for just a full combo, which ends up doing about 5% more damage. However, this is for a completely non-crit combo. The Harp ends up doing about 6,398.17 damage per combo if all of the attacks crit, including the physical damage AoE. And the Rust ends up doing about 5,764.36 damage if all the attacks crit. But this scenario, where all of your attacks crit with the Rust, is kind of a fantasy. Making a build where you have 45% plus crit chance with a Rust requires godlike artifacts. I'm talking crit rate rolls on every 5-star piece you have. Otherwise, you are going to have to use a crit rate hat, and your crit damage becomes way lower, which is hella suboptimal. So the harp gives you much better quality of life at face value just because it gives you 20% crit rate and crit damage. So how many rust refines would you need to beat out a harp? Well, if we do the same DPS test with the harp, we get a total DPS of 8,994 at level 80. And that goes all the way up to 12,465.6 
if all of those hits crit. Now, with a max refined rust, we get 11,396 on no crits, which is significantly higher than the harp, but only 13,515.6 if all of your attacks crit. And like I said, unless you have literal god roll artifacts, you will not be critting this consistently on the rust unless you sacrifice crit damage. And let me tell you guys, when I was trying to do these damage calculation tests, basically uh, counting the damage of each hit individually when it's non-crit and when it's a crit, when I was trying to do it for the harp, it was incredibly annoying to try to get the exact damage to appear in game for a non-crit because most of the time it would crit at least two or three times in a combo. So I kept doing the combos over and over again until the hit that I'm trying to see never crit it, and I was able to get these numbers for you guys. But on the Rust, it took me one try, one try, and I didn't get a single crit in an entire combo, and I was able to just get exactly the numbers that I wanted. So in conclusion, you would need a max refined Rust and god tier artifacts in almost every slot to beat out a Skyward Harp in DPS. More crit equals more passive procs, and I didn't even take into account any of the passive procs, which are a huge chunk of your DPS in these tests. So just imagine how many more procs you're going to have with a harp when you compare it to a rust. Now, as for these stringless guys, I know I didn't talk about it that much. It doesn't come close to either one of them for regular attacks, but it does turn child into a hell of a nuke with its ulti, and the passive elemental mastery makes your vaporize comps even more insane. Uh, so if you have more stringless refines than rust, or if you just want to use him as a nuke uh, secondary DPS, you're not really going to be using him as your main DPS, then by all means use a stringless. Uh, but otherwise, I would highly recommend the Harp, but I do know that the Harp is a 5-star. Even if it's on the current weapon banner, it is a 5-star. A lot of people are not going to have it. Um, and the Rust is a really, really good option if you don't have it, guys, okay? This is all, like, super optimal, perfect land, right? Uh, but, you know, don't... You don't be discouraged if you don't have a Skyward Harp, because the Rust is still an incredibly powerful weapon, so. I'm not gonna cover the other bows in this video, because I just wanted to go over the most popular ones. Uh, and to be honest, these are the only bows that are worth a damn for Child. The If you don't have any 4 stars, or if you don't have any 5 stars, the only other bow that I would recommend is the Raven Bow, which is a 3 star that increases the damage dealt to enemies that are affected by Hydro. This is a really good free-to-play weapon if you don't have this then i mean i don't know what to tell you but yeah uh, anyway guys these videos take a lot of time and a lot of work and i i really am trying my hardest out here I'm losing sleep and stuff uh trying to stream and trying to do these videos so if you guys like them then be sure to subscribe and drop a like it it really means a lot and I would really appreciate it. So I'm trying to get to 45k subs before Child leaves. So that way we can do a Max Constellation summon video on him. So I would really appreciate it if you guys helped me reach that goal. Uh, it would mean the world to me. But uh, anyway guys, I'll be streaming all weekend. More videos to come, so stay tuned. And I will catch all of you guys later. Take care.